In these problems, we are converting between units of measure in area. And you may have done this with length before. Area is pretty similar, except uh, you end up squaring everything. Let me show you how this works. In this first one, we want to convert 42 square centimeters into square meters. So first of all, you need to know the relationship of centimeters to meters. And if you don't know how many centimeters are in a meter, just look it up on the internet. Uh, it's one meter equals 100 centimeters. This fact is what we convert into our unit multiplier or conversion factor. You can write that as a fraction either 1 meter over 100 centimeters or 100 centimeters over 1 meter. They're both the same thing. We'll just pick the one that's going to work for this problem. Let's set up the problem. It, we start with 42 square centimeters. So 42, and I'm going to write that as a fraction. So 42 over 1, and the units are centimeters squared. Now we need to multiply this by one of these unit multipliers. And what we do is we choose the one that has the unit that's up here on the bottom. So since centimeters are on top here, we want centimeters on the bottom there. We want to cancel those centimeters so that we're left with meters, which is what we want to get to. So we're going to multiply this by 1 meter over 100 centimeters. But because this is area, we have to square that whole thing. That's the trick with area. Now, the centimeters squared will cancel with the centimeters squared down here. So those units cancel. I end up in meters squared, and this is my whole problem. It's 42 times 1 over 100 squared, which would be this one right here. Let's try a slightly more complicated one. So this one says use six unit multipliers. In that problem, they said use two unit multipliers. It looks like we use just one, but because it's squared, the way we think of this is 1 over 100 times 1 over 100. So there's really two of them that we're multiplying in there. So when this next problem says use six, we're going to have three things that we put out there, but each of them will be squared. So it'll look like um, we're using uh, three when we're really using six. All right, so we want to go from square meters to square feet. So we've got to get from the metric to the English. I think the best route for this is to go from meters to uh, centimeters to inches. So I know how to convert from centimeters to inches. That's at 2.541. And then from inches to feet. I think that's the best route for us. So we'll need conversion factors or unit multipliers from meters to centimeters. We, we have that already. That's up here. And we'll need from centimeters to inches. So there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch. Or we could write that as one inch per 2.54 centimeters. And then we just need inches to feet. There are 12 inches in one foot. Or we could write that as one foot on top and 12 inches on the bottom. OK, so we've got all of our unit multipliers here. Let's see if we can arrange the problem correctly. So we're starting with 28 square meters. So let's write that as 28 over 1, and the units are meters squared. Now, since we've got meters on top, we want to choose the conversion factor that has meters on the bottom. So that's this one right here. So 100 centimeters on top, 1 meter on the bottom. And then this whole thing gets squared. Now these units will cancel. We're in centimeters. So our next step is to get into inches. And we want to choose the one where centimeters is on the bottom. So that's this one. So 1 inch over 2.54 centimeters square that whole thing. Those centimeters will cancel. And now we want to get to feet. I've got inches on top, so I want inches on the bottom, so I'll use this one. So that is 1 foot per 12 inches. And that gets squared. The inches cancel. Uh -huh. And we're left with feet. So this problem reads 28 times 100 times 1 over 2.54 times 1 over 12. So let's see. So that looks, well, that almost looks right, except that it ends up in meters squared. And I think we ended up in feet squared. 
yeah, this one looks right. 28 times 100 squared, 1 over 2.54, 1 over 12, and ends up in square feet. So correct answer there is B. And that's a little bit of work with converting units of area.